Welcome back to Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. It's episode 8 and in this video I'm going to be starting work on a brand new boat ride. It's going to be a large scale attraction that's going to be located on the left hand side of the park and it's going to be my take on Jaws the Ride. Now obviously Jaws is a ride that's been built at many different universal parks around the world. However, this is going to be completely different to that. It's going to be my take on it. Uh, we're still going to be using of course the classic Jaws style feel however it's going to be completely different in the fact that we're going to have a different storyline uh, for this one just here obviously the original storyline was all about a beach uh, someone getting attacked by the shark and there was all these arguments and things about whether they should stop people on the beach however they carried on uh, and all that kind of thing with this it's going to be more about this tour what's taking place and what I've kind of got uh, envisioned for this one is that we've got this tour that kind of goes wrong and as you go deeper into this boat tour or you start to see things uh, and everybody kind of wants to turn back but the person on this tour is basically forced by their bosses to carry on doing it. Uh, so that's like the, the backstory that I've got for this. Obviously, I'm going to expand on that a lot as we build this attraction. Uh, but firstly, let me talk about the boat ride. Now, this was added uh, with the Adventure Pack, and I must say that I absolutely love it. I mean, I was working in a park off camera uh, a few months ago, and uh, yeah, like I started to have a little play about with the boat ride, and I love what you can do with it, whether you want to use it as a transportation ride, or as an actual, uh, well, a normal ride like this one, where you can uh, sort of use the different show scenes around it. And uh, that's exactly what I plan to do just here. And uh, I've had some ideas since the last episode where I was working on the facade to my drop ride, and my plan is now to sort of make this whole area uh, themed around Amity Island, including the drop ride. So that doesn't mean any changes to what I was planning to do uh, with it but I just want to kind of bring that into this area as well maybe call it Amity Tower or something along those lines so as always keep commenting down below with your suggestions I love reading the comments on Theme Park Worldwide but especially on this series because it inspires me and uh, you guys are helping with this project as well now, as you can see with this, I've gone for a bit of a Disney Rivers of America style feel to it. The fact that you've got all these mountains in the middle and then you've got the actual uh, water that runs around that with, of course, the ride built into it just there as well. Uh, it's not took me long here, actually. This is probably about half an hour's worth of work just to do the river just there. I've connected it to the main lake as well uh, that runs all throughout Ocean Bay. And, uh, yeah, I really like it. That's enough of water, I think, for this section of the park uh, now that this is in because there's a lot of water around that front section. Uh, I don't want to put any more in and sort of overdo the water. But uh, you can see there, that's the far left of the park. The park won't be going any further past that point uh, as to what I've built in just here. So yeah, it's all about landscaping at this stage and sort of building up where the scenes are going to go. What I'm imagining on this is four main scenes. And uh, you're going to see a few of those going in this episode. And then this will carry on into the next episode as well where I'll complete it. I also want to go to the next stage with this one and add customized audio to it. I want audio clips around the ride and I also want to do like an onboard spiel as well that I'm going to record, maybe get a few other people from the channel to record some voiceovers as well uh, just to make it a bit more realistic. Uh, that's my plan with this one anyway. But uh, here you go, you can now start to see me putting in the first of many different buildings. There's going to be a lot of buildings here and like I say, it's going to be themed to this Amity style village. However, these tours are taking place on these boats, but there's a lot of sort of shipping companies and that sort of thing around here uh, that work. So we're going to see a lot of like crates stacked up and all that kind of stuff. And what I want to do is sort of take you around to like a an abandoned sort of shipping company and you see that and it starts to make you feel like hang on a minute why is this building abandoned and then obviously you'll have one of the shark attacks they'll try and get you away a bit quicker uh, and then you'll have another attack and of course uh, the shark somehow needs to be uh, sort of killed at the end of it so it's one of those isn't it obviously Jaws it is quite a dark sort of story really and that's what I want with this ride it all looks very happy very glamorous but as you delve deeper into it it certainly takes that more 
of a twisted turn. I mean, it will be a family ride, of course, uh, much like Jaws was when it operated at Universal. But uh, yeah, it's one of those, isn't it, where you wouldn't want to go on it if you were a small kid because it's, well, it's not a nice thing, is it? It's a, it's a horror film, isn't it, really, Jaws? But uh, I know films have moved on a lot more since then, and I, I use the term horror loosely now with how a lot of the films are, but it is still a horror film and, and how it was put together. So a lot of the detail on these buildings just here using the wooden uh, beam effect. You can see that just there. There's going to be a lot of buildings. Like I say, I want this to look like a, an operational village around here at the front. And you see me start to work on it now. And in the next episode, I'll be adding the finer details. This is more about putting in the ride system, landscaping trees, and then thinking about the finer details in the next episode, along with the programming. But uh, more about the programming a little bit later in uh, this episode. But uh, yeah, just putting in some of my classic hashtag rock work there. I do love using the rocks, I must admit, I find the rocks really realistic in this game. And I just think they add so much more realism to it. And uh, I know these ones that I'm using now, the grey ones, are technically alpine rocks. But uh, I just I like the look of those ones. I think they work really well with what I'm trying to achieve just here. But uh, you can see me there just putting a few more trees in around this first front section. A lot of these buildings around here don't really have a purpose, it's more about making you feel like you're in this village. Maybe a lot of fishing and things is going on here as well, so we'll have quite a few different boats about. And uh, yeah, I hope already you can start to get a feel for how this is gonna look when it's complete. I mean, it's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be a lot of trees, a lot of rocks, a lot of buildings, and a lot to look at, actually. Like, yes, it's a big boat ride, but I want this heavily themed all the way around but uh, yeah it's not took too long to build the actual lake itself uh, and what you're about to see in this episode and uh, what it's about 20 minutes isn't it this episode so what you're about to see uh, throughout this is about three to four hours worth of work that has obviously been sped up uh, to this speed that I'm showing you at just here but uh, yeah it's starting to come together I'll leave you with a bit of music for the next few minutes and then I'll carry on talking about uh, what I'm building here as we go into the first couple of scenes As you've just seen there, I've started to add a few more details around the station building itself, a few little boats and things about, and uh, yeah, it's starting to look good that, but there's going to be a lot more theming around there. Like I say, I want this to be intense, I want there to be so much to look at as you're going around this ride, and uh, yeah, as much as I've put like the base layer in, I'm going to be coming back and adding a lot more to that in the next episode. Uh, at this point, over the next couple of minutes, I started to have a look at what sort of shark attacks we actually had. Now these work on a tracked based system, uh, and they've got like the little pneumatic arms there as well. Um, so obviously you don't want to see those. You've got to make sure that they're hidden either under the land or under the water quite a bit. And uh, I didn't realize how much of a long track these are actually going to be on uh, when we first have them. I mean, these all came out as part of the studio's pack, and uh, that's obviously why I've built this studio's park, because the studio's pack came out. I love studios-based parks. I mean, I don't know a lot about films, because to be honest, uh, I don't have a lot of time to watch films, especially when uh, you, you're running a, a YouTube channel such as Theme Park Worldwide and doing a lot of other things as well. So I don't really have much time. I did go to see Jurassic World, though, that I must say I really enjoyed. But uh, yeah, as you can see, 
see here, I'm starting to add in a few triggers. If you don't know about the triggers, I did speak about them in the last episode, but basically, you can see the one and the two there. Uh, that's basically different scenes throughout the ride, and you can see on the right-hand side there how I'm attaching certain items to those triggers. So in the long term, I'll be able to program this ride and make sure that uh, it's all going to be in sync, it's all going to be in time. And at this point here, I'm working out that what the distance needs to be between the boats, because that's a really important part of this ride. The boats need to be sequenced out uh, right. And you can see I've added in a little stoppage area. If you look at the top right of your screen now, you'll see the boat just stop there. And uh, that's exactly what I want to happen. It'll stop there, look and then it'll move forward. The reason that I'm doing that is because in this scene that's on the right hand side now, I want you to see a couple of sharks sort of in the distance and everybody on the boat gets a bit panicky but the tour carries on but he brings them sort of through these rocks into like the safe water uh, where he'll do some sort of spiel uh, like, come on, you're all right guys, everyone's safe, let's carry on with the tour. Something along those lines, which is the first sort of sign that hang on a minute, the shark's in this water, why we're we still on this boat? So that's the kind of feel that I'm going for here. And I must say, I quite like this story that I've come up with, I like it, but if you've got anything that you can add to it to enhance it more, uh, then go for it. I mean, I can't sort of change it too much from what uh, I've decided on, uh, because obviously I'm building these scenes all based around it, and you'll see as this episode progresses uh, what else I put in. But uh, yeah, if you've got anything to add to it, go for it, keep commenting down below. You can see here now I'm putting in a tunnel section, so obviously you've already had that little scare and then you're going to come round through this tunnel and I'm going to put a boat what's sort of capsized, on fire, like the tanks have exploded, that sort of thing and you really think, hang on a minute, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And that's when these sharks that I've put in down here will come into play and there'll be a big shark attack really close to the boat. You can see that I've got the sharks in there. By all means, they're not programmed or in place yet. It was more a matter of just putting them in where I think they're gonna go. This is a bit of an estimate to so I can plan the theme in around it. But uh, yeah, this is kind of what you've come on this boat tour to see. Like all this, this rocks area, it's like an area of natural beauty that these boat tours that depart daily are going to. So that's like the reason that you've gone on this boat, to go and get some really nice views all around sort of the local area and that sort of thing. But obviously there's something dodgy about these boat tours because they're taking you in water that's got all these sharks in it. But uh, you can see now just adding a few trees in. I won't show you much footage of this, but in a couple of moments you will see loads of trees have just magically appeared because uh, you don't want to watch this video just watching me place trees down all the time but just giving you an idea of what I'm doing in terms of merging in my Mediterranean entrance into this because it does merge quite well obviously Amity Island it's a beach uh, and a tourist hotspot so that it kind of blends in with what I'm going for here actually and uh, my idea originally was to go into like a Hollywood style, New York Street style section but I've completely scrapped that off for this area now I'm planning on having that behind my Batlock tram tour sort of uh, behind sort of Amityville Tower to the right of that so that's my plan with that one and that's probably where where I'm going to go next uh, and over, obviously over there I'm going to look at things like a Back to the Future ride which would be my next IP based ride. IP meaning intellectual property, stuff like uh, CBeebies Land at Alton Towers, Saw at Thorpe Park, they're all IPs because it's not something what the park have come up with, it's uh, a brand that already exists. Plenty of rock work going in around there, and now some more details going in uh, on the top just there. Like I say, it's going to be a very active sort of harbour, uh, a, a port where there's lots of boats coming in with different deliveries of fish, uh, all sorts of stuff. This shipping company, we want to make it look not too old, but I do want them to be a bit of scaffolding and things on there to give it that bit of an edgy feel. And that's what you can see me adding on just here. But uh, like I say, there's a lot more details. I'll think about audio and lighting in the next episode as well, because that's gonna be a big part in this. Like obviously at night time, we, we can make this look really nice with adding park hands all the way around it. You can see there, it's just about adding loads of little things really. That's the good thing with uh, theme parks in general. A lot of the time, especially parks like Phantasialand and Europa Park, they'll add little things, but I've not really got any relevance to the story at all. It just kind of fits the theme, and they just chuck it in there, so to fill like a blank space. And I think that's really important. It's like here with this station platform, I could have just left it blank, but now I'm gonna put some boxes on it and some barrels, and that sort of thing. At the end of the day, this is like some shipping company, 
I want to make sure that there's lots of little things around to make you feel like you're in the part of a busy working port and there's all these things that are going out uh, around. I don't want you to sort of have all this blank space around. And just from adding those, how much more full does that area look now? It's starting to look really nice actually, a lot better than I'd, I'd imagined it to at this stage. I mean, to be honest, for this project, I've not spent too much time on it so far, maybe two and a half hours to get to this stage, which compared to the tram tour and the drop ride was taking a long time, hence why uh, I mentioned in episode seven, in the last episode, I was gonna take a little break from the drop ride for now and uh, come back to that at some point. And I'm glad that I have, because I've got so many more ideas now and the idea of having it all fit this Amity uh, Harbour feel. Anyway, you can see there's my capsized boat that I mentioned a few minutes ago. So that's gonna be setting on fire just there and you're gonna come out of that tunnel around the corner and think, whoa, hang on a minute, we've got this boat on fire. At this moment, your tour guide on the audio, he's gonna be starting to get a bit panicky and he'll be able to tell that he's panicking a little bit. And, uh, and then just a few seconds later, boom, we're gonna have a shark attack on both sides of the boat. Uh, you can see there, I'm just trying to mess about with them to get them in place. Uh, but I do add some more buildings and stuff around here in a moment as well. And uh, that's what the platform is going in for just there on the left hand side. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite intense this. So you're gonna come around that corner and think, whoa, hang on a minute, what is going on here? And uh, yeah, it should get everybody's hearts pounding a little bit on this one. But uh, there you go. I'll leave you again for a couple of minutes with some more theme park audio. And then I'll come back to you when I start work on my final part in uh, this episode. So we've reached what is going to be the finale part of this ride. Like I say, I'm going to be going around the rest of it and adding so much more detail and I still need to work on my first major scene that I've not even started to build yet and that's going to be near the waterfall. But uh, yeah, anyway, with this one here, there's going to be two major things that happen in this scene. The first one of those being another shark attack. However, this one's a bit different in the fact that it's a lot more intense, a lot louder, a lot closer. And then you're going to turn around the corner of this building. That's why I'm being very careful about where I'm playing in this because I don't want you to see the fact you've got the shark that's being killed that's washed up on the side um, obviously that is going to happen just like the film and um, obviously you've got to escape somehow but uh, yeah so this building needs to be placed really well just here and that's why I'm sort of keep moving it across because I don't want you to come into this area and obviously see that right end scene before uh, you've already had the attack so that's what I'm doing here this is going to be quite an upmarket area of Amity 
that's why I'm putting in a lot of like nice palm trees and things. You're closer to the beach just here, but it's worth putting out the actual beach itself and the films won't be featured uh, because it's a completely different take on the story. Like I say, it's my take on Jaws, uh, Jaws story. And we're gonna have quite a lot of uh, hotels and apartment blocks around here. And that's what I'm starting to build just here now. That's why there's a lot of windows and doors going on that one. And I just want this to feel very upmarket. Like it's not the sort of place where you'd expect to see a shark attack. Uh, because, well, it's not at all, is it? You're supposed to be going on this tour of all the caves and all the nice rocks and everything, all the waterfalls. And then, bam, it all goes wrong. And before you know it, you, you're sort of all around in this posh area. And you think, oh, we, we've made it now. We've been through the worst. We've made it back to sort of safe area, back to dry land, so to speak. But uh, not at all. A lot more details going in round here, like I say. All like these sort of net walkways and things. I'm gonna put a lot of like tables and chairs out, that sort of thing. Give it that really safe feel. However, of course, that's gonna be the most intense part of the ride. A lot of theme park rides do that. They lure you into this false sense of security. Like, oh, everything's fine now. And then, bam. One of my favorites for doing that is the mummy at Universal with like the fake station if you've ever been on it. Basically you come in and it's got like all the air gates and things at the side. It announces like it's the end of the ride and then boom, it's uh, not at all. Uh, and then obviously it carries on. I really like that idea. They also do the same on Over the Hill at uh, Adventure Island in the UK. I'm not too sure if that's changed though now, because uh, someone did say it adds, well, it did have some work done to it. I didn't go last year, but we are going next month in August to Adventure Island again, uh, down in South End on Sea. So I'll be able to have a little look and, uh, and see what it looks like. But uh, that was one of my favorite things. So hopefully that's not changed. Standing in some more details onto the buildings here as we come to this uh, final part of the episode, really. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I mean, I'm really enjoying putting this ride together, like I say. And uh, yeah, a lot more details to come. This will be finished there in the next episode, which is good. Uh, but yeah, so it's not took anywhere near as long as some of the other rides here. But I'd say it's probably my favourite thing I've built so far, actually. And it's nowhere near even finished yet. I just like the idea of using the boat ride. I love these style boat rides. I've always been a big fan of jungle cruise at the Disney parks as well uh, so yeah that's probably one of the reasons why I enjoy them but uh, yeah it's all coming together nicely like I say comment down below on the video if you've got any suggestions and we're gonna end this video now with a little bit of on-ride footage just from some of the highlight scenes uh, from my take here on Jaws the ride thank you very much for watching another episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster and I'll see you in the next video see you soon uh, this is base you're cleared for departure Amity 6 have a good trip